Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys might be aware, last night I uploaded an epic money making method showing you guys how you could easily make millions every single day solo. And go with the feedback, you guys really seem to enjoy that video. Now if you guys aren't aware, about two days ago, Rockstar Games introduced a bunch of brand new races into the game called the Issy Classic Races. Now if you guys are like me and you don't really play that races that often, but you do like to try them out now and again just to have a bit of fun with friends i thought i'd make a video showing you guys how you could actually make the most amount of money from playing these races just so you guys can make a ton of money while having fun at the same time as rockstar games are actually offering you guys double money and double rp on all of these races so if you guys do play them in the right way like i said you can make a ton of money for practically just having fun with friends online and in some cases you could be missing out on like 8k every lap for literally not setting it up in the right way so in this video i will fully break down all of the factors that do determine your final pay so all of you guys are fully clued up you can come on straight away and start stacking tons of money easily so i will say the method i did upload last night is much more better if you guys are just looking to make pure money for the time spent on the game but like i said if you guys are going to be playing these races you might as well be earning a ton of money in the meantime so as always if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form and you would like to see me cover more epic money and rp guys in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so as i did mention first thing i'm going to cover how you guys can grind this method if you guys do want to play solo and like i did mention later in the video i will compare it if you guys have got some friends with you showing the difference in payout that you guys will actually make like i said there can be a lot of benefits to doing this solo because you're always going to be getting the same consistent payout it's not going to drop and there's no risks of you like finishing third fourth or last plus you could consider it as an afk method so it's like stress-free very easy now if you guys are going to do this solo route to grind this method what you actually want to do is be in a free roam session you want to press start go down to playlists and you want to add as many of these races that you want to do when you're grinding this method out so this is completely up to you depending on how long you guys are actually going to spend on the game me i was doing it for roughly just under an hour so what i've done is i added six races as they're pretty fun races to do i'm not going to lie it's not going to feel like you guys are grinding this for money because time really does fly by when you're doing these races so like i said just add as many of these races as you want I would say do a minimum of three just so you guys can get that playlist bonus right at the end when you finish the playlist. But other than that, like I said, you can do 10 in this playlist. You can do six, just depending on how much money you guys want to make as the payout is not going to drop whatsoever. So it is unlimited. Now, once you guys have chosen the races you like to look of, go ahead and save this playlist. Now, another tip I'm going to give you guys is maybe choose a bunch of the new races that haven't got a tick next to them. Because if they've got a tick next to them, that means you guys have played the races before so by playing a race that you haven't played before you'll be able to learn the circuit in case you guys come across it again when you're racing your friends giving you guys a little bit of advantage nonetheless once you guys start the playlist up the first and most important part you guys want to remember is to never finish these races under four minutes that is the most important benchmark to do with these races and how the payouts work so as you guys can see on screen i managed to finish this in just under four minutes and i only received a measly 5k which is not good at all however if you guys pay attention to the clock in the bottom right by me literally just sitting in this mission for an extra 18 seconds so it passes the four minute mark my money will literally double taking it well over 10k for only four minutes work which is extremely good now an important point to remember is each lap on these new stunt races is literally around three and a half minutes so a lot of the times you guys will finish these races just under the four minute mark so you actually want to pay attention to the clock in the bottom right as i think we can all agree being able to double your money by only spending an extra 10-15 seconds in a mission is insane and you guys will be able to increase that more by spending a further two minutes in a race so by finishing the race in just over six minutes your payout will increase by 10k to just under 14k so about 13 and a half k and a very nice 3600 rp however to earn the max payout from doing this solo method you guys will have to spend a further minute and a half in the race so it passes the eight minute mark and that will increase yet again to just under seventeen thousand dollars however the rp will remain the same around 3600 and that is 100 
100% the new cap on all of these races. I know a lot of people have been putting out false information saying spend up to 16 minutes in races to earn the max payout. That is no longer the case. These people do not spend their time testing out these methods for you guys like I do. So as you guys can see on screen, 16 minutes passes in the race and I still receive the same $16,000. The only other way to increase this is with players in your mission. Eight minutes is the time cap to earn the max payout for all of these races. That is another important thing. All of these races work the same. I've also seen people putting out information saying always do this race because it pays more. All of that is also bullshit. The only determining factors are the players and the time spent in the mission. So now you guys know that eight minutes is the time cap. You guys saw that you earned about $17,000 for spending eight minutes in the mission. However, if you guys can remember by spending only four minutes in the race, we managed to get a very nice $10,000. So if I was to do this race five times in four minutes, I would get $50,000, which would only take me about 20 minutes because I'm only spending four minutes on each lap. Whereas if I was to wait the full eight minutes every time, I'd be earning around 41K. So I'm making $10,000 less every couple races if I was to do the more longer method. So you guys, like I said, can work out what suits you guys best, whether you just want to keep on repeating every four minutes to earn the higher payouts, or like I said, sit AFK. Maybe if you guys just want to watch some of my YouTube videos or go for your dinner, you'll be able to play this game based around you. Now, as I did mention, there is another multiplier or another fact that the Rockstar do take into account when calculating your payout and that is basically the amount of players that are in your race at any given time now i am aware that we all play gta 5 different we all have different amount of friends we can get online and we all even have a different skill ability when it comes to racing some of you guys might be 10 out of 10 beasts but you don't have that many friends some of you guys might play with a shit ton of players but you're not that good at racing but i do know one thing is that we all have at least one other friend cousin or brother that we can all play gta 5 with i guarantee all of you guys at least know one other person that you've played computer with over the years that is usually your go-to person when it comes to either grinding money or just having a bit of jokes online so taking that into account as i mentioned earlier you guys will be earning 10k by doing this solo for just four minutes but by getting one other person in your race you guys will be earning an extra four thousand dollars every single time for literally just doing nothing exactly just over four minutes but by having one other person in your race you're able to earn an extra 4k every single race and your friend you might be thinking oh well he's only going to get 2k there's no point of him doing it no he will still be earning a very nice nine thousand eight hundred dollars so practically the same as if you was doing it solo just slightly less because you guys earn 10k he's going to be earning nine and a half but for only four minutes of racing i think we can all agree that is extremely high so i can see why a lot of people might want to do you win one race and then you let your friend win one race and then you win one race because by doing it that way you'll actually be earning like i said more than by doing it by yourself solo because you're also going to be getting that player bonus and because the loser still gets 9k which is only a couple hundred dollars less for coming first solo you guys really have nothing to lose out by getting an extra friend in here and the time bonus will also include if you guys are doing it with a friend so you will be able to earn up to eighteen thousand dollars for going just over six minutes and your friend will also earn a very nice twelve and a half and of course if you guys go to the max cap time of eight minutes spent in the race one of you guys will be earning a very nice twenty two and a half k while the other one is still going to be getting a very nice fifteen and a half thousand dollars so let's say you won one then your friend won one we're talking a guarantee just under 30k for completing just two races which in all honesty if you guys have played these stunt races like i said will not even feel like half the time because they're so goddamn fun and unique i've got to say me personally as you guys probably know i'm not the biggest racing fan in gta 5 online but i can still appreciate this goddamn dlc but for the pure fun and unique factor to it so now you guys are fully clued up on how to maximize the payouts depending on the time spent in the game or the number of players it is worth mentioning of course you guys can take another route and chance your luck by going into a bigger lobby with much more players of course naturally it's not really a method by doing it this way hence the reason why i broke the method down earlier but this way obviously is going to offer you guys bigger rewards with bigger risks so now you guys understand how to maximize the payout these payouts should make much more sense to you guys so as you guys can see here with just six players the winner was able to earn a very nice twenty-eight thousand dollars for spending just over six minutes in the game 
game. Here you can see six players for going under four minutes with only $10,000. However, with 16 players, so you guys will only be earning up to 26K if the race finishes under four minutes. And like I did say, every single player will count towards that winner's final pay. So as you guys can see here, 16 players. If one player was to back out during the loader menu or before it starts, the winner's bonus is gonna decrease yet again down to 24K. So as you guys can see here, 15 players under four minutes is the usual lap time you guys will see when doing these races the winner only got 24k so when you guys see these payouts take into mind what i showed you guys earlier i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to use your brain to stack some serious money best suited to how you guys play the game hopefully you guys do appreciate me covering this method in full detail so all of you guys will be able to grind it whether you're rank one or 100 and if you guys are going to do it with friends or more players and not the solo method, do be sure to leave a comment down below if your gamer tag or your PSN put together a nice little group of you guys to grind this method out. Or you guys can come and join one of my GTA 5 crews. I will leave a link to all of my crews down low in the description. I will say the crews do fill up very quickly, so I will kick in active players in my next paint job video over the weekend. Stay tuned for that video. Nonetheless, that's going to do it for me, guys. An awesome money making method that all of you guys should definitely be grinding out as of right right now if you guys do enjoy these money guides and want to see more in the future all i ask is you drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you guys are new as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video